morning. Good morning. I'm John Paul with uh, Coachella Valley Racing. We're part of the Greater Riverside County Racing. And, and what does Racing stand for? It's the Radio Amateurs Civil Emergency Service, and we provide emergency communications in the event of uh, a national or local emergency. Uh, for here, of course, our primary concern is earthquakes, and that's primarily what we train on. Today, we're set up here inside the La Quinta trailer, the uh, CERT trailer, <clears throat> where we have radios that we use to communicate with the surrounding community with the La Quinta Emergency Operations Center and with the RACES community through repeaters throughout the Coachella Valley. And we're here in La Quinta celebrating the La Quinta birthday party. Uh -huh. And uh, if anyone is interested in getting involved with amateur radio, they can send me an email. I'm going to pan down to your card here. And the email so for me is my call letters, which is NF. 6 and November Fox Drop 6 November. I'm trying to get this at in. A R R L dot net. Okay. And if you send me an email, express your interest, I'll send you some information back and uh, keep you on the list for any upcoming classes. Okay. If you want to get involved with a class. Okay. And you need a ham radio to do all this? Uh, yes, we use ham radio. We have our own equipment. In my case here, I have a small handheld mm -hmm. in addition to other radios that hard, I have. Hard for me to see that, but it's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And uh, this allows me to communicate through the local repeaters in the event of an emergency. Uh, you can buy one of these similar to this from anywhere from about $100 to a couple of hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and they're readily available. So you don't need a whole big console in a dark room in your house and a big antenna on your house? No, no. This is the minimum that you need is something uh, like this. Okay. These operate on multi-bands. Uh, it's primarily line of sight, but it does go slightly beyond line of sight. Okay. So we can uh, work through a number of repeaters. Okay. Sounds like every neighborhood should have someone trained that could communicate with Absolutely. the outside world when all the communication systems go down. Um, I'm from Laguna de La Paz here in La Quinta, uh -huh. and we use these radios to communicate with our street captains. Okay. And then when the street captains report in, and these are about $50 a pair, mm -hmm. you can get them at Costco. Mm -hmm. They don't need a license. And oh. uh, they're readily available. You can charge them or you can double A, use double A battery, mm -hmm. either one. And uh, from our command center, then, which is just a point we set up under a pop up, uh, what we do then is uh, communicate with La Quinta City Center okay. at EOC. Yeah, okay. So if I and a few of my neighbors bought one of those yellow things, then we could communicate with each other and the city? Uh, Maybe. You don't communicate with the city okay. within your own community. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, these are good for a couple of miles, so okay. within the community yeah. it works fine, yeah. but not good. beyond. Okay. That's where we use amateur radio. Okay. That gives us all something to think about, John. Thank you very much, and keep us safe. Thank you. Uh,